Hey, this is Chris at Record Talk, uh, making a short video with a contest entry for Sack Blabbeth. Um, the theme of his contest is he wants you to show three uh, local bands. I'm going to define local to be the state of Kentucky, the state I've lived in for about uh, 20 years now. I'm going to go geographical, so I'm going to start in far eastern Kentucky, which is actually the opposite side of where I live. Usually when people think about music from Kentucky, if they're thinking about bluegrass, they're thinking about country, they're usually thinking about Appalachian music. And so representing that, this will be a modern sort of country Americana artist named uh, Tyler Childers. Uh, this is his recent album called Country Squire. I think it came out a year or two ago. Uh, I think it might have been two years ago. I think it was 2019. Um, uh, he had an all fiddle album that was mostly instrumental last year as well um, and so I'm going to show him um, you, you could also talk about Sturgill Simpson uh, who was born and raised in Kentucky as well now we'll go a little bit more into some rock uh, some sort of jam band just sort of rock uh, from Louisville Kentucky we have not Louisville, Louisville. We have My Morning Jacket. I have several My Morning Jacket records. I'll probably eventually do a ranking show on them. There's actually a couple of their albums I don't have yet. Um, this one is called uh, It Still Moves. This was, I think, their third album. I think it's actually the first one that I have. For, I think it came out in 2003 or 2005. Again, I'm just going off my memory. Um, Circuital, which came out in 2011, is my favorite. A lot of people like Z, which came out, I think, in like 2008. Um, there's a bear on the cover. Now we're going to get into Western Kentucky, which is the part of Kentucky I live in. And so this is S.G. Goodman, Old Time Feeling. So S.G. or Shana Goodman, um, she's a uh, singer-songwriter. Um, she is from Hickman, Kentucky. If you look at the map of the state of Kentucky, Hickman is right smack dab in the very southwestern tip against the Mississippi River. Um, the only direct uh, connection from uh, Kentucky to Missouri is not actually a bridge. It is a ferry that operates from Hickman, Kentucky across to the um, Missouri side. Um, and so she grew up in a farm family. Um, it's a it's a pretty economically depressed area. Um, she was a student at Murray State University um, as well. Um, we're probably like an hour east of Hickman. Hickman, as I said, it's literally on the Mississippi River. Across the river, um, you're in Missouri. Um, and um, she's also a member of the LGBT community as well. Um, but in particular, the first song on side two, uh, which is called The Way I Talk, I think is just a brilliant song. I'm not sure the rest of the album quite reaches up to the level of that particular song, but I think I'll throw in a link for uh, the video for that particular song. You can also see what she looks like. There's not any actually any... Uh, I don't think there's any pictures of her, unless maybe there's one on the um, inside sleeve. Yeah, okay, so... So, yeah, so S.G. Goodman, Old Time Feeling, and it was co-produced with Jim James, Jim James being um, the main, uh, the singer and na main songwriter of My Morning Jacket. So there's my entry. I hope you like it, Zach.